screwdriver. Right, I'm gonna go get my bear again. Come on, drive there. At the onset of the program, we basically got to go back and rewrite and rebalance the vehicle out in a way that optimized not only the third row being a part of the story, but even our off-road capability got better overall. And so we, it was really a win-win, but it required us to have the flexibility to have these new components and be able to design them right up, you know, properly up front. So because we had a new engine suspension system to work with, we were able to take a multi-link system and take those multiple bushings and now make each of those bushings mission specific. This bushing's for handling, this bu bushing's for comfort. And we basically took that, that formula and we said, okay, this is how we're gonna adjust and everybody will have a mission in life. So with a multi-link system, you have that flexibility to do that. Um, bolting the axle to the engine allowed us a bunch of advantages. One of them from an MVH perspective is we were able to reduce the pass of noise through the body, through the cradles, through the body. So by putting it on the engine, we created a cube, basically of an axle and the engine together. And now we just have to manage that cube through the isolators, through the engine mounts. And what that also did is allowed us to drop the engine in the engine uh, compartment, basically improving our CG. And CG is a very critical you know, factor, attribute when you're talking about dynamics, when you're talking about rollover stability, you're talking about overall feel. We spent a lot of time on fuel economy, right? We did a lot of light weighting, uh, a lot of aluminum parts in the car, a lot of high strength steel. Uh, Gen 3 steel as well, all in the spirit of getting the car as light as possible. Even the fuel tank is a little smaller in this vehicle than it is in, in, in today's car because we just don't burn as much fuel. We have a trail rated uh, version on the Overland package. Ground clearance basically means a lot in terms of going over those obstacles, so we put a new air suspension system in there. And that new air suspension system basically has more range in there, which means that we also need to accompany the suspension system to go with it. The suspension has more range in it as well, allowing us basically the, you know, the, the, the tools so we can go and balance out ride and handling, but also off-roading. That helped us to achieve a very aggressive approach angle, departure, and breakover angle. Um, so we, you know, we, we can stay away from those obstacles. But if we do hit those obstacles, we have skid plates under the car to protect those critical parts as well. There's, uh, there's lots of uh, different tests that we run. We'll take the Jeeps through you know, an array of mud pits. We'll literally get them loaded up underneath in terms of all the suspension components. So we're looking at all the components that are, have that weight on there. Will they sustain? Will the belly pans be pulled off or not? Water fording, same thing. We're able to increase water fording limit this car by four inches. We'll take the car through 24 inches of water at five miles an hour. And again, we're looking for components and how they're performing. The high speed sand highway test, the dust intrusions, the high heat. Um, these are the types of extreme testing we do. And then of course, everything in between. And I'm proud to say that car is, you know, when you drive it, it makes you, gives you a sense of confidence that you just want to go faster in the corners. The steering is very precise. And we have this formula now that is just, it's really, it's really something else.